Somebody asked me that is Bangladesh in a position to start an university like Aviation Aerospace University? Uh, I always answer until late because the independence, 50 years of our independence, if we don't start it right now, then when are you going to start? This was a very bold and right move by our Honorable Prime Minister. The prospect of this university, if, you, uh, if I can very simply say it, this, is, this market is global. This university, this particular subject, aerospace, ball and aeronautical subject, this is always global. This is always global because if you have a student in the past, you have knowledge in the And we always focus this university as an international standard university. We are tasked that it has to be international standard university. We are planning the how to make our university of international standard. This is a if you uh, look at our infrastructure and then also the staff and then our faculty, you'll find that all are of international standard uh, people here. Among their uh, faculty members, most of them are PhD from outside the country. staff highly qualified. If you compare to any any other place, you'll find they're highly qualified person. Backgrounds are very high, and. The task we have taken is that we will not compromise with any quality. This university, we have taken uh, a target that this is meant for research intensive university. And aviation is a sector. Unless you do research, we cannot innovate something. You cannot produce something new. Every country has their unique requirement. Every country has their unique style of you know, uh, uh, producing things. In our country, some of the equipment we may require which will meet our purpose of the nation. So we have to do think in our way, what is the requirement of our nation? That's how we have increased our research fund from last year to this year, almost 10 times. Uh, the, the university is doing research in four separate areas. First, we are trying to you know, develop our own indigenous aircraft prototype aircraft. Second, we are trying to prepare our own drone, which will meet the requirement, some of our national requirement, which will have at least medium range capacity, uh, capability, where we can We are in close contact. They are coming. Already satellite project, professor. Uh, he has already started working with. He was last uh, three weeks with us. We have already set an antenna. We have already started communi established communication with satellite and this antenna is working. So last three weeks, again, Alhamdulillah, we have achieved some things. And our target is that, inshallah, by next uh, few months, we, few months to year, say about one and a half year, we will be able to develop our own Small scale satellite. You know, you see, among their, uh, among their uh, faculty, among students, they get team money and they are closely working. Same goes for uh, among their uh, drone. Drone, we have already, you know, you must be knowing it is already there in media also that uh, my small scale uh, drone um, we launched. Uh, it was successful, but we are planning now a bigger scale, which will have at least 100 250 kilometer range, and which will be able to carry payload which able to drop payload, uh, which, uh, which can be, uh, uh, which, in, which can meet purpose of our, some national, uh, national requirement like agricultural sector. Uh, about the aircraft, basically, uh, we have taken the lead, uh, we have we, all manpower, but Air Force is taking the lead, already a project is approved, and 
we have already selected sites where we have already hangars where the aircraft will be built. Already uh, shipment will be done very soon. So aircraft project is done. And rocket satellite also we are working. Uh, you must be knowing that Mami Singh University is doing a lot of work. So they have done a good job. Uh, they have done a good job. They are interested to work with us. But we are very formal with it. Procedural way, they could computerized jay model gula maran or motor shesh way gase. Our physical testing as a secure jabu. We are taking support of Air Force also. Abong, you may ask why rocket now? Rocket is integral part of space science because Amaraju the monocore jay, Amaraju the shape future Amy space launch, Amy can take launch curvo. We have to start working on rocket science. Also, this works with the satellite abong on a on a other areas say a rocket sensor kaja lage. So we have to also work on it. We have already established a lab also for this, and then we are working on it. We have uh, engaged few of the very uh, prominent uh, figure scientists uh, around the world. Um, Kiran Kumar, uh, Professor Kiran Kumar, uh, who was also the chairman of uh, Indian Space Research, Indian Research Organization. Uh, he talked to us, and he was very highly impressed. Uh, about our university and he likes to work very closely with us. He said any sort of support uh, you need we will we'll, uh, ready to provide. Uh, the the provisi of uh, Cranfield University, uh, she uh, uh, also uh, joined us uh, online and she had long discussion with us, a long session. Uh, so uh, many of the you know uh, very prominent uh, scholars and scientists, uh, uh, they are already engaged with us. They are willing to support us in all uh, regards. So we were very fortunate in, in a sense that uh, where we are, wherever we are trying to cooperate, we are getting very good response. We already have uh, signed MOUs, number of MOUs with uh, uh, renowned uh, specialized uh, aerospace uh, aviation universities like uh, uh, Cranfield Universities of UK, University of Surrey of UK, uh, Shang, uh, Shangyang University of China. Uh, we have also signed uh, MOUs and LOS with Airbus company. Uh, we have signed uh, MOUs with uh, Marshall Aerospace of UK. And also uh, many other uh, MOUs are processed with different universities of uh, uh, you know, uh, international countries. So we, we are already uh, in a uh, process of expansion of the, our in cooperation in different fields. Uh, we have signed MOUs, but we should not be limited with only MOUs. We are uh, also trying to uh, with contracts with specific fields with many universities. And off late, we are trying to send uh, three of the faculty members uh, to Cranfield universities for training uh, because you understand that uh, in our country, in-house capacity is not much, very limited in fact. Amadir kintu Air Force chara by the expert nai bolle chula Amadir. For running the course, we need some expert. So what we are doing is, uh, we are trying to uh, get uh, some foreign experts, some foreign professors, uh, faculties who will come here and teach some of the modules to our students. Sometimes we'll have hybrid systems like we'll do online and physical. Some of the cases we'll send our faculties to other universities. We'll be trained, short courses will be trained. They'll come back and then take courses. Sometimes we'll send our students also uh, in the capacity of uh, a scholarship to uh, some of the universities. So this sort of MU is already we have. And inshallah we'll be executing this Maybe in the next two to three months' time, we'll be sending our uh, faculties to uh, foreign universities. Uh, we'll come back and then we'll teach. Meanwhile, to fill up this gap, uh, we are having we've established contact with many of the uh, foreign experts and professors. We are willing to come here and uh, conduct modules in our uh, universities, which will also include, and we're, I'm very happy to uh, say this one, that uh, many of the NRBs, our professors, Bangladeshi you know, citizens who work outside 
they also work as professors in many universities. They are also willing to come here and take classes here. If you understand, if you employ a university from Cranfield, they will be charging uh, some of the cases in power award, it, you know, in a very, very high uh, uh, amount. But if I can engage this NRBs, our Bangladeshi professors who also work as professor in international universities, then we, I may get it at least uh, uh, much in a cheaper cost, which also I think should, we should be proud of our utilizing our, you know, the experts who already are, you know, expert in outside uh, the country. So we are also working in field and we have got very good response uh, uh, from different corners. Many of the uh, professors, uh, Bangladesh professors who are all serving, they want to come and, you know, join with us. So we, uh, which will take place in soon. By June, inshallah, uh, many of the experts who will be joining us and taking classes here and also in the world. We are planning to move this, uh, you know that uh, it's a temporary campus in Dhaka. And inshallah, uh, we'll be moving to our temporary campus in Lal Manirat, which is the f being facilitated by uh, Bangladesh Air Force uh, by June this year. The location is permanent, but the facilities are temporary because Amadir Ekhono DPP among feasibility study shesh hoyani. We just submitted this one. It is shesh hour pore, we'll get budget, and then maybe it will take a couple of years to start with. আমরা এখন Air Force আমাদেরকে দুইটা facilities দিয়েছে একটা হলো গিয়ে academic এবং administrative building আর একটা accommodation দিয়েছে তো আমরা এখন temporarily campus লার্মিনার চালু করতে যাচ্ছি you have very less chance of error in aviation and aviation aerospace there is in fact no chance of error and if we build up people with uh, you know marginal capability and capacity then we it may be disastrous in long run Recently, we had a, a seminar on university industry collaboration, where many uh, eminent personnel of this uh, country were present, including our uh, uh, minister, uh, deputy minister of education. We had uh, almost all stakeholders of aviation were present there. What we found out very surprisingly, but well, not surprisingly, in fact, is very, uh, uh, very uh, known to everybody that uh, most of the you know areas we run with foreign experts especially in civil aviation part we run with foreign expert which means we give give away a lot of foreign currency to the other countries can we take this market by ourselves we are working on this in this area basic on the requirement of uh, industry customers we try to readjust our curriculum at times after the seminar we have worked out few places which was our secondary priority but we have put it in our first priority we are trying to make an aviation aerospace ecosystem in our country this is very important it's not only that uh, we produce aircraft and then it flies and then we earn money or we produce in not complete ecosystem which means is that Anything associated with aviation, we should be able to work out in this university. As you know, this is the hub center of our uh, aviation. This university is hub center for aviation of our country. So we have to be able to address all related issues of aviation in this university. And we are working in these directions. As you said, that uh, basing on the requirement of the industry and all the stakeholders and also our national uh, interest, we are continuously working out on our curriculum and also we are trying to readjust so that we can, you know, meet the requirement first, uh, our uh, internal requirement for national requirement and also how can we immediately step on to meeting that global requirement. So anything and anybody is passing out from here, what I see is straight they can be absorbed anywhere, if not uh, in locally internationally, globally, they can be absorbed anywhere without any hesitation, I can tell you. Because uh, you understand the, the aviation, though in pandemic uh, it slowed down, but aviation is rising just like this, okay, very sharp. Uh, if you compare from the last, say, if you, if you compare the nine, from 1995 to, say, to, uh, 2020, last 25 years, almost 7 to 10 times 
all requirements have increased. 